fill in the blank Roman number 2 so the first question 35 divided by 7 you can get what 5 so that is division answer is given then you have to find out the what multiplication answer so 35 is divided by 7 you can get 5 so 5 into 7 just up you just what it is a division method but it is a multiplication method so this what it is i'll just try to explain properly 35 is divided by 7 you can get what 5 so this is answer is given very clearly so <coughs> now they are asking you this 5 is here so this 7 is go to this side that means in divisions this is a division this is the dividend and this is a divisor and this is a quotient so this 7 actually these two are in the division okay division place so this 7 is in the division place so it just go to the opposite direction it becomes what multiplication so 5 into 7 you know that 5 into 7 automatically you know that very well 35 so you know that because here 35 is divided by 7 35 as a dividend is divided by 7 you can get what 5 as a quotient now what are you going to do so now you must 5 is written already is equal to both the as means equal so 5 now this 5 is a quotient so now what are you going to do this 7 in which place in division place right so this 7 is go to the opposite direction it is becomes a multiplication becomes a multiplication so 5 into 7 5 into 7 so already 7 in the division place so this is go to the opposite direction it becomes multiplication so what this 5 into 7 you know that very well what 35 is already has written so you must just copy that 5 into 7 35 otherwise you just say the table also is not a issue even if you want to say the seventh table thoroughly you say the seventh table or else you must you know the simple table that is fifth table you must say the fifth table one five is a five two five is a ten three five is a fifteen four five is a twenty five five is a twenty five six five is thirty seven five is a thirty five this is what so twenty seven is divided by three you can get nine so now what it is is both are equal as means equal only so nine is here is a quotient so this three is in division side it is actually it's in division it's go to the opposite direction it becomes what multiplication so 9 into 3 you can get this product is what 27 okay so now 36 is divided by 6 you can get 6 okay 36 is a what dividend is in between what division sign is there and what 6 is a divisor you can get 6 is a quotient right now these two that is 36 divided by 6 okay these 36 and 6 both are in what division side okay so now this 6 what is this the divisor 6 this is go to the opposite direction so it becomes multiplication so 6 into 6 6 into 6 you can get already 36 is given you must write as it is that's it so 9 into 7 what 63 so if you want to so 9 into 3 9, so 9 into 7 is 63 second roman number i think so first roman number you know that very clearly 35 is divided by 7 you can get what 5 so 35 is a dividend and 7 is a what divisor you can get what 5 5 is a quotient so uh, 35 in 35 and 7 it's both are in what division side so now this 7 is go to the opposite direction that means this 7 is go to the opposite direct opposite direction opposite side means this 7 becomes multiplication so 5 into 7 you know that answer is has given already clearly written so 5 into 7 35 you just write as it is so 27 divided by 3 so 27 is divided by 3 you can get what 9 as 9 into 9 into 3 that is 9 because this 3 is in division place 27 is divided by 3 you can get 9 now this 3 in division place division side so this 3 is go to the opposite direction it becomes what multiplication so 9 into 3 you can get very clearly 9 into 3 that is sorry 9 into 3 you can get clearly as written 27 just write in the blank 27 then 36 is divided by 6 you can get 6 so 36 is a dividend and is a divisor so both are dividend and divisor both on division side so the quotient is a 6 is a quotient so this 6 you have to write it here and what 
now this what divisor 6 is go to the opposite direction so it becomes multiplication so 6 into 6 you know that answer is given very clearly so just copy the answer as it is in the blank place that is 36 you have to write it in the blank so 9 into 7 63 now 63 is divided by 7 you can get what 9 and again 63 is divided by 9 you can get 7 okay the first answer is over second sum 4 into 7 28 now 28 is divided by 7 mean the next remaining number you must write 4 and now 28 is divided by 7 the answer is what 28 is divided by 28 is divided by 7 you can get what 4 now again 28 is divided by 4 you know that answer is 7 okay 4 into 7 28 they clearly given so now 28 is divided by 7 the remaining number is what 4 you have to write in the blank here 28 is divided by 4 next remaining number is 7 4 into 7 28 is given clearly now 28 is divided by 7 the remaining number what 4 you have to write okay again now 28 is second sum 28 is divided by 4 the next remaining number is what 7 you have to write here okay that is what so very clearly is given now the next answer no, sorry next sum fourth roman number write the division facts 6 into 6 what 36 so division facts means you have to write 36 is divided by 6 what is the answer 6 this is a division facts 8 into 8 what 64 now this is these two is factor and this is a product 6 into 6 factor and 36 is a product 36 is divided by 6 you know that answer is 6 you must write so 8 into 8 64 now product 64 64 is divided by 8 you can get the remaining number what is again 8 so because 8 into 8 64 you know that very clearly now use multiplication that is uh, here 36 is divided by 4 so you know that very well use multiplication means you must first 36 is divided by 4 mean what you are going to do since generally you have to know that very well 36 divided by 4 first you must see this is, first we have to see the general what general division 36 is divided by 4 that is first you must see the 36 is a what dividend and 4 is a divisor first you must see the 3 3 is not enough 3 is not enough because 3 can't you can't divide 3 divided by 4 you can't 3 divided by 4 is not enough to divide so you must take the next number again i'll repeat 36 is a what dividend and 4 is a divisor first you must see the first number 3 compare 3 and 4 that means 3 is what that is less than what 4 so 3 is not enough 3 is not enough because not enough means not enough to divide by 4 3 is not enough to divide by 4 so what are you going to do you have to take the next number so what is this 3 is less than 4 so you can't divide because 3 is less than 4 because 3 is less than 4 that is what you can't divide because it is not enough to divide by 4 so better you take the next number that is 6 3 6 36 36 is going to divide by 4 you must see the fourth table 4 ones are 4 you must write as it is 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 4 threes are 12 4 fours are 16 4 fives are 20 4 six are 24 4 sevens are 28 4 eights are 32 4 nines are 36 so you must write 9 so 36 minus 36 you can get what 0 so here 36 is divided by 4 is what 9 use the multiplication table is nothing but so 9 into 4 you know that 36 so you can write otherwise 9 into 4 what 36 is a right answer for the question now we are going to do the second sum 20 is divided by 5 already we have seen 36 divided by 4 you can get the answer is 9 i have taught you the sum so to find the use multiplication to find division facts that means 9 into 4 you can get 36 this is a use the multiplication table to find the division fact the answer is 9 so 20 is divided by 5 that means what is this multiplication use multiplication fact means 5 into 4 you know that 20 Okay, since so 20 is divided by 4, 20 is divided by 5, you can get the answer is 4. 
otherwise you want to do the check now no issues check method you can use that 20 is divided by 5 this is a dividend it's a divisor first you will compare with 2 this 2 is not enough to divide because 2 is less than 5 so you can take the next number you can go to the next number that means 0 also you must add with it the 2 0 20 20 is going to divide by 5 this is a dividend and 5 is a divisor so you must say the fifth table so 1 5 is a 5 2 5 is a 10 3 5 is a 15 4 5 is a 20 so 4 is a quotient and 20 4 5 is a 20 20 minus 20 you can get what a reminder is 0 so 4 as a quotient that is what 5 4 is a 20 is use multiplication table to find the y division facts second sum is over third sum 30 is divided by 3 so here use multiplication table means you know that very well I know the table thoroughly that is what I have done it very fast so 10 into 3 you can get 30 whether it is right or wrong this multiplication so 30 is going to divide it by 3 this is the dividend and this is a divisor first you compare with 3 and 3 both are equal so at the same time what you are going to do so 3 ones are 3 3 minus 3 you can get 0 so cancel the 0 now the remaining 0 is go to the top because no other number 0 you can't divide what 0 is not divided by 3 so you just take over the number and you must write it on the top so 10 3s are 30 so what this is a quotient and this is a reminder okay that is very clearly know that so um, so this what you're going to do 0 is divided by 3 means you know that very well first you must what that is you just listen so 30 that is 3 and 0 first you have to compare with this is a dividend and this is a divisor 3 3 and 3 both are equal so 3 table means 3 ones are 3 you must write 3 3 minus 3 you know that 0 so cancel the 0 the next is 0 0 is divided by 3 means you know that very well 0 only so you must write the 0 as it is on the top so 1 0 is a quotient that is 10 is a quotient and what 0 is a reminder okay 0 is a reminder so that is what 10 into 3 30 use multiplication table to find division facts so 30 is divided by 3 that is 30 is divided by 3 you know that 30 is here 10 into 3 30 is a multiplication table so I use the check method also you can get the answer is what quotient is 10 so now 30 is divided by 3 means you can get what 10 so that is what even use the multiplication table or else you can use the division proper division method for just want the verification only you do the division method so generally you must use the multiplication table only so 10 into 3 30 or else even you can write 3 into 10 also 30 okay so that is what so here what is the number 30 is a actually 30 is a question 30 30 is divided by 3 means you can get what 10 even you can get the answer from the multiplication table itself so that is what otherwise 10 into 3 is equal to 30 anyhow 30 is divided by 3 you can get 10 so again i'll repeat 30 is divided by 3 means you can get the answer is 10 as a quotient so use the multiplication table even you can use 10th table or third table is not a issue 10 into 3 30 3 into 10 you can get 30 even 30 is divided by 3 you can get what 10 otherwise here 3 into 10 you can get 30 so this 30 is divided by 3 even though you can get answer is 10 10 as a quotient so first question answer 36 divided by 4 use multiplication to find division fact 36 is divided by 4 you can get 9 as a 9 as a quotient 20 is divided by 5 so 4 is a quotient, a quotient and 30 is divided by 3 10 as a quotient so 9 4 and 10 these are the answer for this question this is a question b question c question a question answer is 9 and b question answer is 4 and c question answer is 10 i think so you understand the concept very well